Yo, my name is JMO, and today I'm going to be showing y'all how to make this smooth, seamless spinning transition right here. This is from the iconic Doo-Wop Kane shopping spree video. I'll have all of the director's and editor's information linked down in the description. Shout out to doo -Wop. And yeah, this is really clean, just how it goes. Woo, and then woo, back into another clip right here. I really like how they added the black bars in here. That really just makes this effect much more unique than just a regular boring spinning transition and up on the screen is my recreated version i tried to make it as close as i possibly could if you guys want to save time and money while editing check out the complete chaos bundle at jmovfx.com for over a hundred great effects including collages drawing animations and paper effects but enough talking let's just get right into this now boys as always instead of rendering out in full quality edit this in quarter quality and then render out in full quality so starting off you can see he kind of like zoomed out of Duop's face at the beginning here so I'm just gonna set keyframes and scale this in and then adjust the anchor point to kind of zoom out from his forehead and then I'll just set this to like right here click reset easy ease those keyframes by highlighting them and pressing F9 and then you'll go up into your graph editor and then you will do something like this just pull everything to the left if you guys don't see your graph editor just go down here and change it from edit value graph to edit speed graph um, and you can also edit your value graph as well that's where the sauce is if you want to pull up your keyframes click on your layer and then click u on your keyboard for used and then you can adjust from there it like zooms out like new and then it's kind of tilting slightly to the left like that you see what i'm saying like the rotation is kind of going to the left so what i'll do is i'll have it spin this way like it'll zoop like that i'm just explaining kind of how my mind is working throughout this process you know what i'm saying and then as well what we're gonna do is just zoom in slightly here at the beginning of this clip and then kind of go out here like that click reset and then highlight your keyframes f9 them again and then pull this all back over again you know how it goes and then maybe zoom in just slightly so we have that kind of that's like the start of our uh shit that we got going on right here so now i'll just go ahead and highlight both of these layers and then do Control shift c to get the pre-compose box here make sure these two are selected and slap that little ok button don't worry it enjoys it <clears throat> and to add some extra rotation in here i'm actually just going to go back into my pre-comp by double clicking and then i'll add in some extra bits of rotation here so i'll just go to my transform drop down highlight some keyframes and then have this kind of rotate over like that and then and then of course you know f9 them to easy ease them but now in here, the key is to get this kind of extra smooth spin, you're just going to drag everything over to as far as you can over to the right. And then of course, never forget to add on motion blur. So you'll just go to toggle switches and modes and click this little box right here. And then now I'll just do the same thing. I'll just have it kind of swing from up here down to over here. So I'll just set it here and then click reset over here like that and then add on motion blur and then same thing except this time we're just gonna pull this up and pull everything to the left and then now i'm just gonna pull these keyframes way out here so it makes it extra smooth again i'm trying to emulate this transition as best as i possibly can so right now we have something that looks like this and then don't forget to add on good old motion tile and then you're just going to increase the output width and height to something like 300 and then click that little mirror edges button and then you're going to just copy this effect control c over to this layer control v and then if it's not spinning as much as you want it to you know you want that hose spinning so you can just increase this like that so now the key is going to be adding on those black bars so what you go ahead and do is right click down here go to new click solid and then just make this black and then click OK and then you'll add on the effect called CC Jaws and then you'll go down here to your shapes and you'll just change this to waves and then you'll increase completion just a bit until you can see that and then you'll just change the height and width to zero like that and it'll just create these black bars so now you're just getting this kind of you know cinematic look with those so as you can see on this clip those black bars come in kind of like right as that spin happens like boom right there so what i'll go ahead and do is kind of right here right before the next clip comes in i'll set my keyframe for completion at 100 and then over here i will bring it in to about 
I don't know, something that looks good. Maybe something like right there, I think is good. Maybe just like a little bit less. And then I'll copy that keyframe with control C and then just control V, paste it right over there. And then I'll also just duplicate this middle clip right here like that. And then what you want to do is just easy ease all of these, highlight them and press F9 and then crack open your graph editor. And then we can do, you know, one of these, just pull it all over like that. And then, you know, pull this over like that. And so I actually just deleted the keyframes on the right here. This is what the graph is looking like. And what I went ahead and did is I just set up the next clip to come in right after that. And what we'll do is just pre-compose all three of these layers together. So highlight all three like that and do control shift C. Just repeat that process. And then right here, we'll just set our keyframes to default and then zoom in just to where that clip is and then go back over here and click reset. And then we'll just F9 that and then ease this in however you want. Every clip is gonna be a bit different, but I think what I'll do is just drag everything to the right like this. So it's kind of nice and extra harsh. And then to make this extra like that clip, what we'll do is just go back into this clip right here. And then I will create a new adjustment layer and then I'll just add on some Sapphire Shake. Now on a separate adjustment layer, I'll just add on some Gaussian Blur and then increase that blurriness until it's blurry enough. And then I'll just bring that back down to zero over there as that spin spins out. And then what we can do is go in here, create a new adjustment layer, and then add a shake just right over this right here. Then this is what the final product is looking like. Uh, you know, it's not perfect, but it's like pretty much the gist of what this effect looks like. You know, extra smooth, extra nice. And if you guys like make your edits this smooth in music videos, trust me, bro, you will get hella clients and people will be very interested and what you have to say to them. And if y'all wanna edit like me, check out my website. I've spent over a year developing over 20 really high quality products for y'all. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. As always, have a great rest of your day and peace out.